JCPS's new bus tracking app is live. Thousands of families are already using it to track their child's ride home this afternoon. WDRB's Grace Habas shares how it works and the district's plan to keep parents updated on any changes. Grace? Buses like this one are currently packed with students heading out all across the district to bus stops for afternoon drop off. And now parents can know exactly where their child is just by using this. This is an issue that we're going to continue to grapple with nationally, and it's a very difficult one. But JCPS is hoping its new bus tracking app will help ease concerns for parents. After first rolling out the app to just faculty last week, the district announcing Tuesday evening Edgelog Parent Portal Lite is ready for JCPS families to download. We have over 10,000 users already. The software taps into the GPS on all JCPS buses to provide real-time locations for where those buses are. This has really helped from a transparency standpoint and it's helped reduce calls to our schools, our central office, and also a peace of mind for families. All families have to do is download the app, input the district's unique code provided to them, click My Buses, search for their child's bus number, and enable tracking. Then a user can see where that particular bus is in real time in the city. When it comes to security, officials say there's a reason the district picked that specific software. We use the light because it does not track the route. So it only shows where the bus is at that current time. It doesn't say where it's going. The district says bus substitutions pose one of the largest logistical challenges when it comes to tracking, but says there is a plan in place to keep parents in the loop. As you can imagine, with 600 buses, there are changes daily, uh, sometimes 10 percent of those. So we have a team right now at the compounds and, and the uh, transportation garage that's communicating that. Then we also have uh, individuals that are they can actually send out specific messages in the app to those families. So it may say now, in addition to calling 485 ride, parents with any questions can also find answers to frequently asked questions on the district's website. Now, again, as of this morning, about 10,000 families had downloaded the Edgelog Parent Portal Lite app and are actively using it. But there are about 60,000 kids through JCPS that use buses. But guys, it's important to note that in recent days, a lot of parents have actually been opting to drive their kids to school instead, meaning their kids aren't at bus stops. And today, district officials said that any bus stops that don't have kids getting on and off at them will be eliminated within the next 48 hours. So for any of our parents watching, if your kid is not at their bus stop throughout the rest of this week, that stop will no longer exist. That's an important mm -hmm. note. That stop may go away. All right, Grace, thank you for the update.